Jeez. Well, today I replaced the clean out door right here. I took the old one out and put a new one in. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today, there's Honest Jardy. He just uh, put in a brand new unit. Just got a haircut. Just got a haircut, yep. And uh, I had to come over here and put out a clean out door. I put a brand new one in. This is the old one. I don't see anything wrong with it, but <laughs> he went and got another one. This is the name of it. I don't know. And that's it right here. So what we're going to do is take the old one out right here. Michael. Yes, sir. The door, the, the door itself is rotted. Is it? Yeah, you'll see when you knock it off. Okay. I don't know. What, is it an old one? It's, it's a steel one. Is it a steel one? Yes. All right, I'll get there behind it. I didn't bring no chisels or nothing. Here's a spot. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this door. That's perfect. <laughs> Did you show it on the video, Michael? <laughs> yeah. All right, this is rotted out. It looks like cast iron. Cast iron is just what they mean by cast iron. It means it's cast. No, no chisel today. So, what's that? Now i got to get in there and take a look at it. So get this all out of here. That metal too? That's metal too. So it did rot. I guess Honest Jardy wasn't lying. <laughs> Looks like you put a little angle iron in there. Let's just dry fit the new one. And see where we're at. I don't have to do anything. All I gotta do is put it in. So that's dry fit. So first we're going to clean the chimney out, and Honest Jardy checked the chimney already, right? Yep, Honest Mike did. Honest Mike checked the chimney? Yep, Honest Mike. So now we're just going to brush this up. We're not going to go crazy with this. It's not going to do us any good. See, we brush it all off. I know the, the thing is square, so now I'm going to get a bucket of water. Wet this all up. See that? It'll open up when, it, right? when you wet this up, Which way is this hinge, that's how you clean it. That's what's going to make it stick. No big deal. Turn that that way, right? We're going to mix this rapid set mortar mix. New school. Not going to need a lot because we might have to mix a little more. So I just say a little bit more than a trowel full is plenty. Then we're going to get the and add a little water to it. If we need more, that's okay. I just need enough to make it stick. So that's pretty good right about there. That's where I want it. Now, we get the glove and the wrap it set and get it in there. We want it to stick. Remember we wet it first? We want it to stick. Not going to make a big deal out of this. Just get it around where we want it. No big deal. Okay, that's it. No big deal. Get it up in here. Like that. Get it up in here. And on the bottom a little bit. Now the door is going to go in like this. Just like that. You and Bobby straighten the gutter. Okay. <laughs> then we're gonna go around the sides and pack it. Just like that. See on the bottom, we're gonna pack it underneath it. So it's gushing out the sides. Up on top. See it coming up on top there? We're gonna reach down and grab this. So that's good. I know that's packed in there from the back. Now we're gonna make sure I got enough in there. I'm trying to reach down and grab it. Pack it up. 
pack it in, pack it in. That's good. Now, what we're going to do is wait a while until that dries up. So all we're going to do is close the door, let that sit for a while. And we're going to run the sponge around it, get this stuff off of it. Yeah, I better open it one more time. Get the sponge on there and get all that excess off. Okay, now we're going to close that and let that sit just like that. And put something up against it for about 10 minutes. All right, I'm back 15 minutes later. Let's open her up. It's starting to get hard in there. So I know this ain't going anywhere now. I feel around, no holes. So now I just gotta mix a little more and pack the outside. Mixed a little more. Just gonna go around the edges with it. It's sealed up inside, but I gotta make it look good on the outside too. So you're just gonna fill it in on the outside and that's gonna stick. That's wedging that in there. You don't have to do anything else. Just wedge it in. See, I'm just going around the sides like that. There's no air holes. We don't want no air holes. Well, go underneath here. Shove it up. Fingers are the best thing. Just make sure you wear a rubber glove. That's all. You don't get bit. We packed it. See that? It's all packed. All done. Now a little spot underneath here I felt. I'm gonna get that. Go over it again. It's packed all in there. So we're not gonna have no problems. See that? Now I'm going to get the sponge and go around the sides just like that. Clean that all up. I'm going to go inside too. Clean it up from the inside. It look good. That's it. That's it. We'll go around it once. Try to get all the bad stuff off. If you wanted a, a little black spray paint, you could do that too, but don't worry about that. Okay. Now I'm going to go get some clean water. Yeah. That's going to be it until I come back. I'm going to get some clean water clean it up a little bit. So another 10 minutes later, you just get the rag, and you go around, and you're done. It goes up like this, clean out the door, goes up a little bit, and then down. It sets right in there. So you just clean it up with a rag, and you're all done. So that's it. That's all done, and Honest Jardy's checking the draft now, right? Yep. So, the job's all done. They wanted to put the clean outdoor in so they could they could check it, the new uh, the 
the new chimney and everything.